The National Executive Council has made its final decision not to entertain any claims of payment made against the state by contractors who had carried out work in schools around Port Mosby and the Office of Library and Archives. The decision is based on the reports and recommendations that the entire outstanding claims to NCD Education and the Office of Library and Archives have failed to meet the minimum audit test and procurement process under the Public Finance Management Act. The, under the report uh, and the recommendations which went to them, um, it doesn't meet the, uh, the, the minimum audit test and also the procurement processes. And therefore, on that basis, uh, they have rejected all those claims that went to them in terms of asking for payment. NEC has directed the Education Department, in consultation with the National Capital District Commission, to ensure that the incomplete projects are done following the proper process. Education Secretary Dr. Michael Tapo says some of these contractors have carried out substandard work and the claim is illegal. Our public servants have in one way or the other uh, worked to uh, promote those claims through the system, whether they realize it was serious or not. But this public servants, the audited, uh, audit report has cited those people. So those people um, we have been directed to now communicate to the, uh, to the various authorities, including the law enforcement, to be able to try and, and uh, look into the seriousness of uh, engaging uh, uh, these contractors in the, and also using public monies. But today, outside the main gate leading into Finco building that houses the Education Department headquarters, the contractors were still waiting, hoping for a favorable response. But Dr. Tapo maintains that no claims will be entertained. Quintana Lomp, National MTV News.